right, man. This is different for me. I don't ever. I've only. I think I've only got one truck driving video, I believe. And so we're off this week. And uh, today's Wednesday. I don't know how the audio is going to be on this. We'll see. But I'm headed to my mom and dad's to our gravel pit, and I'm going to get our uh, our John Deere 200 excavator right quick. And this a 2006 model, by the way. Two dead gun it. Y'all know I had to block. I had to finally have to just block it. He 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 still continued asking me that same question. So I'm going to get the excavator. And I don't know what gear it'll be in. Oh yeah, I hit it right. I'm gonna go pick it up. So I'm gonna let y'all ride with me. This is a uh, Danish truck that we're in right now. I'm not sure what model this one is. I think it's an 05 is what this one is. It's our last newest truck that we bought. So we get used to all of them, the brakes and, and each one of them. Let's see, there we go, baby. Grind them till you find them. They sound like longer way than that. Look at that. Did it effortlessly, man. Oh, I still got it. I used to drive all the time. Go over here to my mom and dad's. I'm on, I've got a, uh, it's gonna be really cool. I got an excavation project that I'm gonna do at my house. And it's gonna be a pretty major dirt moving project. I'm gonna film it, film it with the drone, all that stuff like that. And so, I better watch it. Already running 55. But uh, this truck is still a good truck, man. Danny, Danny takes good care of this truck. It's got the uh, it's got the Caterpillar in it, 475. Let y'all. I'm not sure what all y'all can see. I can see it on my phone here. Hey, I'll see it pretty good. The video, maybe, maybe the audio is pretty good on it. I'm fixing to change up some stuff on my cameras. You, I'm going to go to a completely different camera for certain situations and I'm also going to start recording my audio too rather than depending on the camera to use it. It's going to cost me some money to do it but I think the, I think the quality is going to be worth it. It's not going to be on all my videos. I'm still going to use my GoPro and my Sony and stuff like that but I'm just going to change up things a little bit. So y'all get a chance to click those ads when they pop up on my videos every now and then y'all click those ads because it helps me on the income a little bit and because i'm fixing to have to replace i need that camera and i want to do a few other things and uh so if you can click on those ads you don't have to click on them all the time just every now and then just click on them and uh that, that helps me out a good bit on that on the income end of uh youtube and and in return, and I keep producing y'all uh, good stuff and everything. But so I'm gonna stop this right quick and see how long it's been in this current three minutes. All right, next time, next time y'all be back, y'all see me loading up the excavator and bringing it home. So I'll be back. We are at my mom and dad's now. I gotta get this joker turned around here. Look and see their house. Yeah, you see the blade on it. Brothers sit right over there if you want to get in. Let's see here. Where you at, Trailer? Those fans always kick on at the most inopportune times that they could possibly turn on at. Look at all that dust. Oh, y'all probably didn't know if I could drive the truck or not. I can. Got a creek to cross right here and then gravel pits on the right. Maybe when I do this, 
this excavation project, I'll get some of Let's Dig's viewers. That Joker's got some, got some people watch his stuff, man. He got some good stuff out there, too. I like his videos. Let's see. Alright, here we go. Lock them all down. I'm about to load this hank. No, you know what? I better not do that. I've done, I've been there, done that one time on a hill, and it didn't work out too good. When the when the weight, even though this is a three axle low boy, you got like the brakes on and everything. If you've ever been loading a piece of equipment and you start up on it, and it kind of picks the back end of the truck up, and that trailer ever takes off. You talking about the pucker factor, Jack. Oh my God, I'm gonna go on up here on top of this hill. Load it up here and be safe. That would suck. You hear me squalling like a girl. There, that's a little better. Right. Yeah, I'm in shorts. My uh, sandals. Vacation, man. Vacation. That's right. I'm gonna load this thing up. I'll let y'all watch me load it up. There's really no frills on this thing. It's just load it up. Throw a chain over. All of that. So let's go. got me you load these things this way and then you spin around i don't know something always kind of weird me out a little bit swinging it ain't the thing ain't going nowhere but i mean it's just it's trying to rocks a little bit you know and butt starts puckering a little bit i don't know what it is it's always just been kind of always kind of weirded me out a tad for some reason, I don't know why, but it has. But she's on. I'm going to put y'all back on the window when uh, I go to head toward the house or toward the crib where I stays. That's right. Where I stays. Oh, you know, people told me, said, you film it, we'll, we'll, we'll watch it. Well, there ain't no joke to that, man. A lot of people say don't stray on your YouTube channel, stay with what you are, like which man will be logging. But let me tell you, man, people watch whatever I put out. Case in point, that catfish video, the first one that I did with Jugs, it'll be a month old tomorrow. That thing's going over 10,000 views in a month. That's unreal. 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 But I appreciate it, man. Appreciate it. Yeah, let's get the chain. I started not to even put a chain on this thing. So, go to mom, from mom and dad. It's only about eight miles, but I'll go ahead and stick one on it. It ain't really going to do nothing, but it'll make it a lot easier on me once I get home.
just for looks, man. You wreck. I don't care how many binders you got on this thing. I ain't gonna hold it. I ain't gonna hold it. So coming up, this is where I grew up at right here. This is New Hope High School on the left. The football fields right here in front of me. Finna build a whole new high school right here in front of where I'm coming up to this T at. But this is home to me, man, right here. This is where I grew up. Alright, let's go, baby. Let's make this turbo wide here a little bit. shift I'll miss the day gun thing. He looked like a fool. We'll start off in about fourth here. Oh baby doll, I'm going first here. There we go. You just want to eat my dust. <laughs> And it helps out a lot having him do that. Oh, this is going to be a pain in the... Okay, I see what you're going to do. Be so smart. They hold back for me. This is a tight turn right here to make me. Appreciate it, buddy. Uh, 
see that dust blowing off them tracks and that excavator back here, man. I thought it was like smoke or something there at first. Next stop will be my house. Alright, so I'm on the road that I live on, which is Lacey Road. And also, this road is a road that Columbus Speedway is on, too. The dirt track. Probably the oldest dirt track in this city, I don't know, but it's right there on my left. Uh, the family that owns it, they live right here. They're in the dirt business. The Nichols family owns it, so a lot of y'all are race fans. I live on the same road that the racetrack is on right here. That's just a nickel thing, and they're, they're not even running it this year. They're not even going to run it. You ask me, does it, does it bother me? No, nah, it doesn't bother me. We put some special insulation in the house to kind of help take down the sound and stuff like that. But the only time that bothers me, if they're still running it at, say, 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning, which they hadn't had to, they hadn't done that in a long, long time. But it's all right. I like it over here where I live because I'm so close to the bypass. We're finna turn in my driveway right there. Let's see. No mailbox. Ah, no. I missed that. This thing didn't want to turn for some reason or another. It's a blasted pipe, so it didn't hurt nothing. But it did not want to turn. This is my house with ponds right over there on my left. And I'm going to dig out. Remember the new truck? 